Kentucky Kingdom's newest roller coaster could be stopped before it even starts. Good evening, everybody, and thanks for joining us here at 6. I'm Doug Prophet. The theme park located at the fairgrounds says its landlord, the Kentucky State Fair Board, is standing in the way and believes a current lawsuit is to blame for all this. WHS 11 Sarah Wagner is here now to break down what both sides are saying. Sarah? Doug, park officials say their lease gives them the land they need to put in this new ride, but the state fair board has yet to approve it. Kentucky Kingdom thinks this all stems from a parking problem. They say only it has gotten worse over the years. It claims the state fair board continues to take parking away from its guests, so it filed a lawsuit. Now the park believes this latest development, or lack thereof, is retaliation for that case. Kentucky Kingdom may be shut down for the season. But the park is anything but quiet. This is a bona fide, thrilling coaster. That big hole in the dirt will soon be home to the park's newest attraction, the Kentucky Flyer. At least it hopes so. We're waiting for a green light. Otherwise, we won't be able to put the coaster in. Approval that has to come from the park's landlord, the Kentucky State Fair Board. The park says its lease includes expansion property, and it needs a small part of that for the new coaster. The rest of it sits on existing parts of the park, where the current construction is already happening. It's just a little bit, half acre of 20 acres of property we're entitled to. Figure it out. Kentucky Kingdom says it requested the expansion two months ago. Officials think this is the board's way of getting back at the park for its parking lawsuit. We believe stopping the coaster installation is simply punitive. They're trying to intimidate us into dropping the lawsuit, which is completely outrageous and inappropriate. Kentucky Kingdom President and CEO Ed Hart says he and his partners have put in $64 million to the park and upheld their end of the deal to revitalize it. He says he can't understand why the board won't get on board for expanding it even more. It doesn't make any sense at all. It's red tape gone amok. The Kentucky State Fair Board released a statement today saying, quote, in our partnership with Kentucky Kingdom, we have demonstrated a consistent desire to see their business succeed. There should be no surprises here as our lease with them has mutually agreed upon protocol for an orderly expansion, which is still in process and involves several landlord parties. The board adding it looks forward to working with the park as the process continues. The board also says Kentucky Kingdom still has to get approval from the two other landlords. It tells us it offers offered conditional approval for the expansion at its meeting on September 27th, but can't fully agree until every landlord does the same. Sarah Wagner, WHAS 11 News.